What is up guys? Annie Tier, Guild Forever, however you want to call me. How are you little shits doing? Anyway, I'm going to be reviewing The Seven Deadly Sins Season 3 Episode 9. Um, well, I'm not gonna lie to you, this was kind of a shock, but I feel like in the back of my mind, I kinda already knew. So it turns out, the Elizabeth we see here, the one in the current time, happens to be the Elizabeth we've known this entire time. Ha well, happens to be the Elizabeth from 3,000 years ago. But this entire time, she's been re being reincarnated over and over and over for the past 3,000 years, which is crazy. So it wasn't just coincidence that she looked exactly like the Elizabeth from back then. She is the Elizabeth from back then. It's just she's been using the cycle of reincarnation to keep herself, to, to keep her existence alive in this world. Still. What I don't understand, which is random, kind of stupid, in my opinion, unless they explain it and better be a damn good explanation. If Elizabeth begins to recall her memories from back then, she dies in a span of three days. How does remembering who you are equate to dying? I don't get it. It's dumb. So, yeah. I don't agree with that. I thought that was kind of... Okay. That, that, was, that was like whole out of left field. Out of nowhere. Now. Question is, where do we go from here? Ban is only interested in, like, trying to keep Elaine company as much as possible while, while they're getting ready to rescue other people from Britannia from the issues going on in, you know, freaking with the commandments. And then, coincidentally, Ban mentions a comment to Meliodas, like, you have no idea how it feels to see the one you love die before... He's seen her die countless times for the past 3,000 years. And now, this time, it's leaning towards she could die permanently. Now, do I think Elizabeth is going to die? No. She is Meliodas's, you know. That's his woman. Not to mention, she is one of the most very heavily driven characters in the show. She is one of the main characters. There's no way they were kill her off just like that. She needs she needs to be around. Now I could just be overstepping my boundaries and just thinking personally that she wouldn't die. Who knows? I don't know where the author is leading to with this. In all honesty, it feels a little random. The connection of her and the 3000 year old self of her makes sense. And low key, I kind of already knew for the longest time. But I always just put it at the back of my head. Like I never really thought too much into it so but the whole dying in three in three days simply because you remember your name that in my opinion is extremely dumb now as for the only way i'm accepting of this is if i get a damn good explanation and i mean a convincing one of why she died in exactly a span of three days I'm not sure if he's here's the thing even if she dies okay check it there's also something else that bothers me how does Meliodas know that how does he know this the only th theory I can go with is that he in fact experienced this before when she reincarnated so maybe the reason why she goes through so many cycles of reincarnation is because every maybe there's a condition that happened to her like if you remember something about your past you will die you will be reincarnated into a newborn child growing up with a new person maybe that's what it is i'm pretty a hundred percent sure that is the condition so if that's the case I guess that's okay. It's interesting, I will admit that. I'm not even going to front. It's interesting. So, if they do it that way, okay, I accept it. But, 
if they do it some weird dumb way like oh there's a something something uh i don't know like you know like some something dumb but if it goes to the goes to the saying that because i feel like that's really it why else would meliodas know that not to mention the only reason he would know this is that he experienced this before and like meliodas just confirmed whenever like when she dies she becomes reincarnated so he went through this it's kind of like ibisu from nuragami i'm getting those vibes heavily um remember ibisu from nuragami when he dies he becomes reincarnated into a child grows up again into a new person because he is a he is a god so he is god anyway you get you get the point it's the i'm guessing it's the law of reincarnation if you ever happen to remember your past life you have to die so you can forget of how you were before otherwise there's no point in reincarnation if that's what they're going with fine that makes sense and i feel like that is the answer i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm i'm like 80 to 90 percent sure but yeah we'll see we'll see overall i mean if that's the case that's interesting by the way our boy Escanor just took a big fat l and I know what you're thinking. Why would you say that? Hear me out. Okay. I'm only going to say this once. I'm not going to repeat it again. Merlin is thirsty for little boys. Okay. <laughs> not really like toddlers, but you know, guys younger than her. Because apparently she's into author. Can you focus, camera? Apparently, we can't focus. Thank you. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is that she's in love with Arthur. And because of that, Escanor overheard it. And so that kind of puts a dent in his whole trying to get in between. Um, okay, I'll stop. Is to try to get Merlin to fall for him. Even though it turns out it may not necessarily lead that, that way for him. Because she is in fact... Now, here's the thing. She says author is everything to her. Now, I don't know whether she meant that. Um, I don't know whether she meant that like in a brotherly, family kind of way. Or in a boyfriend-ish kind of way. I don't exactly know. But... It kind of makes sense because, I mean, when we first interacted with the character Merlin, she was actually with Arthur. And right now she has no idea where Arthur is. So, And that's what she did. She used that little demon vampire bat thing to try to find his whereabouts. I'm also kind of ashamed I don't remember who Arthur was when I was reacting. But then again, it's been a long time since I've seen his character. Well, not that long, that long. Like, maybe like a few weeks or close over a month. But yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe at the end of the day, maybe she only sees him as like her little brother or something that she needs to take care of. And then if that's the case... Escanor is still in the clear. But if she sees him in a boyfriend-ish kind of way, it's over. It's over. Escanor, don't even try it. But because I'm just saying Merlin is kind of kind of a catch. So if she already has her eyes set on someone, the chance of him winning with her is very slim. Besides, low-key... On a very low key, I, I, I'm kind of cool with Merlin and Arthur. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, I'm cool with Escanor and Merlin. But I feel like that's more of a puppy dog kind of crush. <laughs> well, Merlin, her entire reason for being who she is and living is Arthur. So, in a way, I'm not, like, 
Would I have liked Escanor and Merlin? I would have been good with that. Am I good with es- with Merlin and Arthur? I'm still good with that. I kind of can go either way. I honestly I ship her with both these two. Personally though, if I had to pick if I had to pick one, I think I'd definitely pick um Merlin and Arthur. I don't know, that's just me. I know you're th- you might be thinking, but isn't he like a kid or something? Isn't he like younger than her? By a lot. Yeah, but all I can say it's anime. That's all I can say, really. <laughs> There's not really any other excuses I can think of. But overall, it's it's not a huge deal to me. But yeah. Um anyway, let's just get to the questions. Question one. If you were to shit Merlin between Arthur and Escanor, tell me who and explain to me why. Question two. Out of all the ships in the Seven Deadly Sins, which is your number one? Tell me why. All right, then, guys. That's it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. Really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.